Hey guys, Heather here, and today we're just gonna go over the very basics of your Bouge website and what you need to be doing right now before this gets launched and published and open to the public. So when you go into your Mac Center, uh, go to remax.net, you want to click on up here, it has all of the information, FAQ, they were just released, I believe, yesterday. Check that out, that's gonna go over the timelines your domain information, and a ton of other goodies. So that'll answer a lot of the different questions that you may have. Today, I just wanna make sure that your information and how to kind of play a little bit with the website and just kind of set things up and where to go if it's not. So that's what we're gonna to do today. First thing we wanna do is we're gonna click on the Bouge platform once you're in here. That is going to take you basically to your dashboard which is going to look like this. You have your website. On the website drop down, start from the bottom, you can do your website settings. That's going to say, okay, do I want it relaxed or am I going to have a forced registration? So when you click on restricted, it's going to say how many listings does somebody get to look at before I require them to register with me. For right now, for the purpose of training, I'm just gonna have it relaxed so that I can show you kind of the website and stuff like that. So you can have it relaxed. You can do whatever you want. It's quality over quantity. Let give people the information, have forced registration so you can do it, whatever you wanna do. That's where you're gonna change that. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go into my page editor. This is going to show me all the different pages. The first thing you'll wanna do is click on this home page. I'm not sure what the default is anymore. I've been on so many accounts, but you can always preview clicking on this link and over here, it's going to prompt you to log in to be able to see this. This is not out to the public yet. This is just for you to be able to play. And eventually, um, I think next week or so, we'll have that publish button. This is the login to be able to see your website. So click on that link. You're going to get the website. This is what I've set up for Carolyn right now. We changed the background. We added some content. Her listings are showing up. That's the blog. We, had, we don't have access to that, but there is a template there, one in there. And then she'll have her reviews. So I'm gonna go back over to the Bouge website. I currently set up the agent video layout. I don't know why. I just can come over here to change the layout. And I encourage you to play with the different layouts. They all look the same on the thumbnail, but they are not. So it'll just be what actually shows up there. So some of them will have slideshows. Eventually, I know we're supposed to be able to have videos on that cover, which I'm excited for. Um, there's just different layouts pre-done for you. However, you can customize any way you want. So check that out. Just know if you do a lot of work on the website and organize everything the way you want, and then you come in here and start looking at the different templates, you have to start over. So even though it's like drag and drop, but as far as like copying information, stuff like that, uh, just know I would play and look at the different templates before you go and adding a bunch of different uh, content. So I can come over here to say search layout or you have your social layout. I don't know what the difference is. Some of them have a slideshow. I have to figure out which one that is. So I say, okay, I want social layout. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Now I just changed it. I'm gonna start from the beginning so you can see what's going on. I come over here to edit page. And eventually something will happen. So now it basically it has the image slideshow with the search. It has a bio. This is basically all that is showing up by just that is automatically there. If your profile is set up, it'll all be in there. I'm not sure why there's two of those. Reviews listings this um, right now it all has the remix but it will have the capability once it goes live to add your own social so that'll be your own social feed this is kind of like a call to action and video and a contact me so I can come over here this is showing you what it's going to look like so I can preview it as I'm working on it so here we have a slideshow with a search I can come over here to edit and here I had already added some, just some photos. I'm gonna delete one of those and then save. All right, so if you wanted to add pictures, you can come over here to add. 
choose an image. They have a ton of graphics. You can filter all of that fun stuff, but there's like 17 pages. I can say, oh, I want to see more, or I can upload my own. Just make sure it stays under five megabytes. So it can't be like ginormous, but you can certainly go to Pixabay, Pexels, all of those different ones to get the free uh, images, anything like that, or do a search. So I already have the images I want. I'm good to go. Um, I'm gonna go back over to block list. Let me cancel that. I'm gonna go ahead and save and exit. Oh, I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to go back to block list. We're all learning. I'm gonna go over here, edit page. So here, bio, I don't want that. I'm just gonna delete it. So see ya. Manual, I don't need the manual carousel. I'm gonna sync her Zillow. So, but if you don't use Zillow and you have testimonials other place, this is where you would add those. So I'm gonna delete that. See ya. Listing grid. So this is just a grid. I do like that because as you have more, it won't be like the carousel where it's one line and you have to basically click through. It'll be a grid. So if you have nine listings, it'll just pop up under that. You can see all of them instead of having to scroll anything. I personally like it that way. You can edit that however you want. Social media, so this is the social grid. You'll be able to come over here, but as you can see here, it basically under general release, it'll be there. So let me go back over here. We have a call to action. That is going to be the mobile and all that fun stuff, all that app. I'm gonna, I don't want that. I'm removing it. Bye. Now you have video. So you could do all sorts of things. You could use the Remax commercials going to their YouTube channel. If I come over here to edit, I can do whatever I want. So if you have your own um, video on YouTube that you wanna use, this is what you would do. You would just add all that in there. So I'm not gonna use that. So see ya. Don't worry if I ever change my mind. It's super easy to add. Now we have a contact form. So what I do wanna do is I'm gonna go down here to add a block because I want to add reviews. So I come over here to Zillow reviews going to pop up there. It's going to ask me for the Zillow screen name. So you're going to go find your profile on Zillow. So here I'm over here. I am going to copy this. Don't use the URL. Sometimes there'll be hyphens and sometimes in your screen names there is spaces. It will not show up unless it's exactly the way it's supposed to be. So I'm going to go back over here. I am going to paste the screen name. Now you see they show up. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Now I need to, anytime you're playing with the website and you add a block, it'll default, it's still in draft mode, meaning I may be working on it, I'm not ready for the public to see this, but if you are ready, go ahead and turn that bad boy on, and now it'll be visible to the public, and say maybe I want that above my contact form. So now I have this, it's showing me how everything is. I think, um, let's see, maybe I want the Zillow reviews under my listings. And it'll just kind of change on here as we do all of this fun stuff. So say I'm good to go. I like how this is. I want to um, go ahead and do their preview. I've already got that open. So let me refresh what I've got going on. So here you can see we have the website. This is actually a slideshow, so you could go through. You'll probably want it to be high-res photos for it to not look grainy. You'll see this theme was a little different than having that search bar in the graphics. So that's where it's a matter of just kind of playing with the different themes that they do have. And you saw how easy it is for me to add content and change all of that around, so it's not too big of a deal. So here we have the listings. We have our reviews. This will be her social media. Once it all goes live, this will all have a link over to her. Then you have a contact. There are so many other things that you can do. Maybe I want to, let me go over to her website real quick. Because Maybe I want to go ahead and add, I'm gonna add a block. I wanna add content and I want content full width. All I'm gonna do is I'm come over to a website, I copy, and I'm coming back over here, I'm pasting, save, done. How easy is that? So if you have a profile somewhere and you want it to be that way versus 
when they show your profile the other way, you can do that. Again, it's in draft mode. I'm gonna drag this up so it shows up right underneath here. So you'll see it's right there. I can come over here. I'm gonna refresh so I can see what it looks like. And eventually there will be a publish button up here or somewhere. There'll be a big publish button. I'm assuming mm -hmm. it'll be very easy for us to find and I'm sure that you'll hear from me when that actually happens. So you can see how easy it is to just completely create a website. Here is your menu item. So you have all of this content already there, courtesy of Remax LLC. So that's always good. I'm gonna show you how we can change that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save and exit. That is gonna take us over. This is all where you, know, you can see the actual pages. And eventually I think those will be thumbnails that'll actually look like the page instead of looking like the same thing. I come over to where it has page editor, click on menu. This is like a much easier, this is gonna be your navigational. Uh, so you can see here, we have the main tabs and then when it indents over, that's kind of like a sub tab of that main category. If you do not want something, you can always drag and drop. So when you, the, right out of gate, under my info, or I think it's under resources, it's going to have um, basically the Remax, like search for an agent. So I immediately, if I don't want it, I just drag and move it over here. It's not gonna be published, it's unlinked. So this is just stuff that's already pre-written. You can go edit, add your information, add your favorite mortgage person, do whatever you want. Here, I just added um, a page. So this, actually, since she has another website, I just went ahead and did that. So it shows up first. But I just wanted to show you how super easy it is to play with your website. And again, if you do not have your listings and you have listings and they are not showing up here, or if your photo is not showing up, I'm gonna show you where to go. So you're gonna, if those are not appearing, which they should, but I've seen a couple where they don't, you're gonna come over here, click on your profile. That'll take you here. If your photo is not showing up and you have a photo in your Mac Center profile, it may be uh, need to be a higher resolution. I have noticed if it's a small pixelated one, it's not moving over to those websites. So all you have to do is come over here to update account. And over on the left, you have a bunch of different options. And one of them will be photo. You'll want to update uh, your photo. Haven't been on there for a while. No, do, 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 do. All right. So here we have our general information. You're going to have your photo. Hold on. All right. So we have general contact photos where you're going to go replace your photo. And if your listings are not showing up, you need to click on that MLS affiliation. So you should have something here. Yes, I know that doesn't really look like the code you put in. I don't know why it changes. Everyone should have this. It's part of our onboarding process. But if your listings are not showing up on your Bouge website, then we want to make sure that it isn't here. Of course, you can always get with Maddie or myself, and we will make sure that you are completely taken care of. If you are part of a team, team leader, you will also see that you have more information as far as your team options go. But that's basically it to make sure that you are all set. So when we're ready, we can just hit that publish button and you are good to go. Of course, if you have any questions, you know how to find us. Talk to you later. Bye.